Aaron Burnett out front. Weeknights at 7, only on CNN. Now, the dramatic video that we have tonight of a civilian cargo plane crash which killed seven Americans on Monday, just moments after taking off from Bagram Air Base in Afghanistan. Six of the seven Americans on board were from Michigan. The other was from Kentucky. It's a horrible tragedy. It is, though, incredibly rare for a plane of this size to crash, and understanding what happened is essential. An American contractor nearby filmed the takeoff because it is unusual to see planes of that size so close. And the video may be able to answer what went so terribly wrong. And I want to warn you before I play it, and I'm going to do so without the sound so you can just see it, but I want to warn you that it is very difficult to watch this. The scene was so shocking that the contractor was too stunned to even react. You don't hear a scream, you don't hear anything for minutes here. Out front tonight, John Hansman, an aviation crash expert and a professor of aeronautics and astronautics at MIT. And I appreciate uh, you being with us, sir. It is a video that is horrible to watch and you don't want to watch it, but it's impossible not to watch it. Um, I want to take a look at the video and go through it with you because you, you understand this and obviously understanding what happened here is, is so crucial. Um, I want to mention to our viewers, we're not going to show the point of impact again, but we are going to go through this now frame by frame. You can see the plane actually ascending into the air uh, at about 12 seconds or about that as it's going up here, as you can see. The jet seems almost normal and then as you watch it, it kind of appears to stall. Um, and then you see the nose pull up. The tail appears to drop, but this is all to a layperson's eye. It, it, does something go wrong here or not? Well, um, so what we see in the video is actually first you see the left wing go down. It sort of rocks left, and then the right wing goes down, and you can see then the, the nose follows it, um, down to impact. And uh, what this appears to be is basically the airplane is stalling. Uh, on a swept wing jet like this, um, you'll tend to have the wings stall at the tips. They'll lose lift at the tips and tend to bring the nose even further up. So uh, it appears that we have a stall. Now, we don't know yet why, why they stalled. Um, there's a couple of things uh, that could be. First off, at a, um, at a military base like this when you're in, um, when you're in hostile territory, uh, it's normal procedure to do a very steep climb to get away from surface-to-air missiles. So they right. would be climbing uh, steeper than you would have in a normal uh, departure. Uh, now, even that, that should have been fine. Um, there, it could have been that the trim settings for the airplane were incorrect, so the nose went up higher than they expected on this takeoff. There's, a, there's been some speculation that there may have been a cargo shift. Um, but again, because they were climbing at such a steep angle because to get away from any uh, ground threat, um, they were closer to stall than we would normally be in a, a normal takeoff. Which is interesting you say that. I mean, you know, I, I've flown in there not on a 747, but on military aircraft, and the, both the takeoffs and the landings are, are shockingly steep um, coming in and out of that very airfield. Um, now that you say that, I'm, I'm thinking about that. I, I want to play the part where you talk about first the plane leans one way a little bit and, you know, it looks like it could just be making a natural bank, but then obviously it goes the other way and into that uh, horrific, uh, horrific move down, which, which we're going to show you. Um, clearly, something is horribly wrong at that point. Um, what accounts for that, that it goes one way and then goes the other way, basically perpendicular to the ground right there? Sure. So, um, so, so normally what happens when you normally are flying with a wing, you're getting lift under both wings. Uh, what appears to have happened is that uh, if you try to climb too much, the, the wing can't generate enough lift and you get separation of the flow. It appears that there was a problem on the left wing. You know, it started to go and it was corrected, uh, but then the right wing stalled and it stalled hard to the right. And then it actually appears that the crew is recovering, that the nose is starting to come down. And there simply wasn't enough altitude left for the uh, airplane to recover before it get back to its flying condition before it hit the ground.